Jason Momoa as Arthur and Amber Heard's Mara search for clues in Atlantis in a new image from James Wan's upcoming DC movie Aquaman. Fans recently got their first real look at the highly anticipated Aquaman movie when the first trailer finally saw the light of day at last month's San Diego Comic-Con. Among the other important tidbits released about the movie from SDCC was Momoa's revelation that Arthur Curry wears denim pants in the poster. Not leather as was originally thought. The trailer itself was of course filled with revelations of its own. Including a first look at the movie's sprawling version of Atlantis. As well as hints about the origins of Black Mantis. One other recent reveal from Aquaman director James Wan. That there will be no Justice League team cameos in the movie. May come as something of a disappointment to some fans. Clearly, many DC fans are very excited about the movie as evidenced by all the tweets about Aquaman during Comic-Con. Not to mention the clever fan trailers that have come out since the real trailer first dropped. Related, Aquaman trailer breakdown. 25 secrets you missed for Aquaman fans who just can't get enough glimpses of what the movie has in store. EU has exclusively released a new photo from the film that helps build the intrigue. In the image, Amber Heard's Mara and Jason Momoa's casually dressed Arthur Courier scene in a chamber apparently inside a ruin within one of the Seven Kingdoms of Atlantis having a look at a very mysterious piece of technology. By the looks on their faces, they're very happy to have stumbled across this particular object. See the photo below. There is a definite Indiana Jones, specifically Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, feel to the scene, with its stone walls, ancient-looking sculptures and the piece of technology itself, which Juan has revealed is actually a device used to play back an ancient recording. Mara and Arthur are here seeking clues as part of their quest to find the Trident of Neptune so they can use it in their battle against Aquaman's half-brother King Orm. Patrick Wilson. It should be no surprise that there's a distinct Indiana Jones vibe to not only the plot but the above still. As Juan has revealed the Indiana Jones movies helped inspire his take on Aquaman. As the particular setting featured above is in fact located in Africa. The scene shown likely happens not long after the famous moment from the Aquaman trailer where Mara and Arthur both leap from a plane into the desert without parachutes. They're also wearing the same costumes as in that scene from the trailer. Among the many mysteries the movie will have to clear up is how they both manage to survive their plane leap, since there's nothing but sand dunes underneath Themis your source. Ew tags. Aquaman looking for an AD free experience on screen rant.